Here we are at Matanga Lake in Crandon. We took a break. We're on our way up to Spectacle Lake today. And um, I, I thought I'd try to see if I could show you the tree colors on the lake here. Oh, it's a little dark and cloudy, hazy, I think, today. So it's not showing up real well. Libby's having fun just running free because there's nobody here. <laughs> to the entrance pretty soon. From County Road A, it was three miles in. Half of the way in was um, a dirt road. They're doing some road work on the way in here. So Libby ate a little. She Usually when we go camping, she gets real fussy and she won't eat for a day or two. But I found some um, not so good food to add to her science diet and now she, she eats. <laughs> food that I would not ordinarily give her. And then we set up our picnic, even though there was kind of a little drizzle in the air. Yeah. And we thought, oh, don't tell me we're going to have to eat in the camper. But I said, no, let's, you know, he put the picnic table on, the picnic table cloth on. And um, and now we're, we we brought our salad with a lot of toppings. And um, um, we have even have a little wine in a, in a pint jar here. That was left over in our refrigerator. And then I have the, we just have our brat on a piece of bread here with onions and ketchup. So we're enjoying, enjoying the scenery here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many leaves have come down already. And then off to this side, we can see the lake. So, okay. Spectacle Lake is a 166 acre lake with a maximum depth of 35 feet 
and it's located in Vilas County, Wisconsin. Looks like he's going to be taking a video, setting up the tripod. <laughs> I don't think we'll be seeing a sunset tonight. <laughs> it's very cloudy. We laid down in the van for a while. The national news was on. Well, first the local news came on, so we were watching TV. Uh, happened to scan and get a number of channels in. Uh, so now we finished watching that, and we're taking a walk around the campground um, just to see there's 34 campsites here. So we'll see how many other people are camping. We think that there's one for sure on the other side of this loop. We'll see if there's anybody else. Mm -hmm. Did you see somebody? Oh, somebody coming up here. Where the beach is. I feel like we have a beach right right by our campsite, but this is the actual beach. And so we have one neighbor there camping. So even though it's 6 p.m., it still looks really pretty out here. The sun didn't shine much today at all. It peaked out just a little. Well, here's, here's another. another camper. Oh, look at how nice that, that site is. It's so open and they're not they're not at all close together. Here's another one. Number twelve. Here I'll show you. Yeah, there's a oh <laughs> happens to be two picnic tables there. Here's a tent. That's a real nice tent. What did I do with the, the remote? I don't know what I did with the, the remote. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, so man, I can't believe all the leaves that are down already. This takes one one rain or a, or a windy day, and they won't last long. 
So we're glad we made this little trip today. On the local news, it said that before northern most central counties are at their peak right now. And yeah, that's where, where Vilas County is one of those. We're very close to the upper Michigan border. Well, this is campsite number 16. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> what do you smell, Libby? in the fall. <laughs> so quiet, hardly anybody around. No bugs, no mosquitoes. <laughs> Doesn't get any better. <laughs> A little drizzle didn't amount to anything. We could still eat outside, sit outside. And there's the other camp. And just one more campsite. These are away from the water, so they are $15. Well, we found out today that Kentuck Lake is open longer. This one closes next week, October 12th, or I thought they said 14. Well, it'll be closed next week. But Kentuck Lake stays open longer into November. Because we like to camp in the fall. And there's our... Uh, good morning. It's Tuesday morning and we got up. We made our just a simple breakfast in the van um libby ate and she's uh 
She was shivering this morning outside, so I put her little sweater on. Um, so there she is. So we're getting her ready for a little walk before we take off for the next area we're going to. So I, I did the few dishes we had and got everything situated in, in the van. <clears throat> so let's see now. We'll take... Uh, Take a little walk towards that boat landing again, because that's where we can drop off our garbage. Well, what a difference a day makes. Today looks totally different with the sun out. And, uh, that, that's why I got to show you the colors around the lake this morning. Okay, the sun shining right about there. Maybe I can zoom in a little here. It's a nice day. Our magazine rated this restaurant as having the best pancakes in Wisconsin. Well, we didn't. We decided against um, the last campground, and um, we went into Manaqua, looked around there, went to a shop. Uh, now we're at uh, Buffalo Lake Campground, which is a state park. State forest. State forest campground. And we've never been to this one before, so it, it's um, it'll be interesting just to pull in here and see what it's like. difficulty finding what which site we wanted because we didn't have leveling blocks with us um, this one this site is a little high up over the water and in fact all of these they have fenced off like this if you can see the fence they don't want anybody going <laughs> over to the lake because it goes down so steeply and then it just is a drop off So, I mean, we all we have to do is walk right over here. Here's our, here's our campsite. We just have to walk over here. And we have access to the water. And... Uh, the 
boat landing, the beach area. And let's see how large this lake is. Buffalo Lake is 105 acres, maximum depth of 27 feet. It has a Woodruff address in Oneida County. And uh, this is between Woodruff and St. Germain off of County Road J. This is Wednesday morning. We had a pretty good night. We um, sat around and had a campfire last night. Um, we um, ate outside again. Just beautiful, calm weather and uh, good temperatures overnight. It it didn't get to 50 degrees, but we were just fine in the, the camper van. Um, we woke up pretty early this morning and we decided to take a walk. It wasn't even well, it was light, but not quite. Um, we took a, a walk along the water. There's a path, it's all full of leaves, and we decided to just let Libby off her leash, which she just absolutely enjoys. And she listens to us, uh, and uh, so that was fun. Uh, but then later I find two ticks on her, so they were just crawling on her fur, and she's gold, so I spot them right away and get them off. This is Cunard Lake uh, Campground. We They're closed for the season. The gate was up, but we're just um, taking a walk back to see. Oh, that's, a, that's the beach. That's the beach area, yeah. Just gonna see what the campground looks like. It's a national forest. No. State forest. This is state? This is state forest. State forest campground. <laughs> it doesn't allow any generators. It's a quiet thing. Oh, no, no, it's not good. Walk in. This is the entrance to a park in Three Lakes. number of times before they have nice facilities here and uh, information building
lot of lakes around here. I, there, there was a map up by the information building, and uh, I didn't take a picture of it because <laughs> there are just, it's just so much to cover, so many lakes in the area that it would be hard to even photograph the entire thing. are coming down. It's not going to take long before they're all there. We're ready for winter then. Because we saw quite a few trees that were already totally there on this trip. So we took we took this few days at a good time because we did see a lot of nice colors that were in, in their prime, I think. By next week, it could be too late. Yeah, as we talked about, these are still Yeah. Well, falling continuously. Just like on command. <laughs> well, that's a nice sized lake. It goes uh, all the way down there. Yep. So they have their piers in already. a place we wanted to go to uh, for a while so now that we're on our way home we can we came right through the, the area so three lakes winery they are open already I've been curious as to what blueberry wine tastes like and I see they also sell cheese curds here Oh, every Friday morning. Oh, well, today is only Wednesday. <laughs> oh, look, at they have outdoor seating here with the tent. We're getting ready for the pumpkin. The pumpkin fest? The ninth. October 9th, right. So, okay, we'll be going in here. Look at this tree. What would this be called? Flat on top. See you next time and thank you for watching.